What's up guys, Rare Spark here and I'm making this video to once again talk about the Jordan Rec League. Today I will be live streaming, I'm not sure what time yet, probably around 8 o'clock or 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. I know it's a little late, but this is very important for the owners to show up to. So if you can, let me know in either the comments or on Twitter at the Jordan Rec League what time is best for you and then I will tweet out a time of what time I'm going to be live streaming. I also suggest you follow twitch.tv slash rarespark, my Twitch channel, because you will get a email when I go live on you know the channel. And this live stream is going to basically be able a Q&A session for you guys to ask me any questions and for me to also explain a lot of things that I have to explain to the team owners. Everybody's welcome to show up. Uh, all members of the Jordan Rec League, not just the team, uh, not just the team owners. Everyone's open to questions, you know, everything like that. I'm gonna do my best to answer everybody's questions, and I also have a, quite a few things to explain. I have a few rules to explain. I also have a few things to explain about game reports. Game reports is gonna be very important. They're going to be the way we find out who won and who lost. I'm actually working on a format right now and it will be posted on the forums a bit later today so if you can't wait for the live stream and you want to know how we're going to be posting our game reports then stick to the forums and you'll see how to how we're going to do that but it's going to be mostly through screenshots and the screenshots is going to be basically a tree it's going to go from the players to the team owner and then the team owner is going to take it and go on the forums and write up the game report now what I mean by this is the players are going to take a screenshot of their stats and the team owner is responsible to also take a or whoever's playing is also responsible to get the end game score because we need to be able to verify scores by having a screenshot at the end of the game as well of just the score itself it's very important but uh, like I said I'm gonna go more into detail uh, during the live stream and it's also going to be a Q&A session now I have come up with a dateline on registration for teams I think I'm going to make the team deadline registration this Sunday because I want to start the games possibly this Monday I know a lot of people have been asking me when we're going to start the games and when we're going to start the season so I figure maybe Monday I don't want to rush it so we might have to push it back another one more week but we'll see tonight. I'm going to talk to the team owners, obviously, during the live stream and get a feel for when everyone's going to be ready. And we definitely need a few more teams in the league because I have to have an even amount of teams. Otherwise, we're basically uh, my scheduling program that I have will give teams buys and it, it won't really work. So anyways, like I said, team deadline registration will be this Sunday. February 15th so if you haven't registered your team get registered now very very important because I want to start the week long session of games basically on Monday so each week it's going to go from Monday to Sunday and then the next new week will start Monday to Sunday and it will go on from there so you'll have basically either one or two games every week that you have to play between Monday and and Sunday it's that simple you get together you meet with the team owner of the other team owner that you have to go up against and you basically find out what time you guys are best available and when you guys can play and you have to get it in within the Monday to Sunday time limit that gives you plenty of time gives you plenty of days to get it done and I think it's the best way to do it because it's very flexible and it gives the teams the ability to set up the games best to their ability and best to whenever they're available rather than you know, having it so I'm making the schedule. Everyone has to try and make it. So I think it's the best way to do it. And it's a very flexible schedule. You can play the teams in any order. Let's say you had two games in a week. It doesn't matter which team you play first or second. You just got to get both games done sometime during that week. It's very easy. I also want to know a lot of things. This is going to be discussed during the live stream as well. But I'm trying to decide how many games we're going to have. And whether we are going to have teams play each other twice or or once before the playoffs so let me know in the comments below your opinion on that as well I'm curious to see what you guys have to say but like I said this is going to be discussed throughout the live stream later today so please follow twitch.tv slash rare spark and you'll be ready to get that email when I go live around probably 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time maybe a little later than that a lot of people ask me uh, 
you know, maybe 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock. It's Eastern time. I apologize for those of you in the UK who might not be able to make it. But if you have any questions yourselves, please don't hesitate to ask me through Twitter or through uh, the forums because I have a question section of the forums that you can go there and ask any questions you'd like. So anyways, I hope this video was informative and I look forward to seeing you guys later today during the live stream. Be there. Find out information about the league. And for those of you who haven't registered yet, please register your teams by Sunday. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. And uh, for those of you looking for the life of Jamal Givens, it will be returning tomorrow. I obviously have lost my voice and it's starting to come back now. So I'm going to be making videos on Jamal Givens likely tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Rare Spark out.